Happy Saturday. Today is December 24th, 2011. My name is Phil Osophical, and I'm here in Bloomington, Indiana, wearing a very nice, cozy, warm scarf, which was nicely knitted by my good friend Ananda. I'm very grateful for this, and I'm very grateful for many things and uh, I'm just walking here in the morning as the earth rotates and the sun rises up above the horizon the beautiful cosmic sun behind me rises above the trees I was listening to the bird songs and um, I've just been pondering some things that I felt like sharing um, <clears throat> One, I read a, a great fortune cookie recently, <laughs> which said, Life is not a problem to be solved. It is a mystery to be lived. Life is not a problem to be solved. It is a mystery to be lived. A lot of indigenous people call call what some people call God they call it the great mystery and I think that's really cool because I think that life is a big mystery and the best we can do is just make the most of it and live every day to the fullest and do what you can where you are with what you have that's what I feel it, it all boils down to. It's like, do, do your best where you are with what you have. It's, it's the best you can do, but it's also all you can do. Cause it's silly to, it's silly to have all these worries and hurries about things that are far out of your control. And um, my mental advisors, as I like to call them, these little condition thought patterns often worry and hurry about all these ridiculous things but I was recently on an airplane and this this woman was sitting there just so so worried about about the the airplane and and whether everything was gonna be all right and it's just like you're sitting there in your chair, fastened in your seatbelt. Is you are is is your fussing and worrying gonna affect the driver at all? Maybe on some subatomic quantum level, your worries will actually trigger his worries <laughs> and screw him up or something. But for the most part, it's just wasted energy. All this worrying, um, and so I. I try to reduce my worrying as much as possible and just be grateful for for what I do have and that allows me to take action in the present moment to take the necessary actions that I need to do and um, recently I have been feeling the need to to take action and to be in an active state and I kind of I, I think it's good to move between being and doing just like you have to balance peeing and pooing you have to balance being and doing um, <laughs> but recently I think I was possibly being a little too much and I got kind of fed up with it so I, I stayed up all night last night just doing all these different projects and it was really fun and really exciting and now I'm a little bit tired here in the morning but I was I've just been up for the last bunch of hours and it feels really good to just be alive on planet Earth on this beautiful day. And I'm going to post a link to this video about gratitude. I think it's so important that we are, are grateful for all the things we do have because life is so simple when you're just, when you focus on what you all the blessings that you do have instead of the one thing that you don't have or the one thing that's going wrong and um, 
recently I've been I've been pondering some pain and suffering that friends are going through and that I'm going through on some level I've had a lot of issues with chronic pain in my life and um, it's been a huge challenge for me to to come to terms with that but when I really zoom out I see that all these chronic pain issues were for were pushing me forward in life and really are blessings in disguise and I think it's 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 hard to see that in the midst of it but um, but regardless there is a lot of pain and suffering in the world and I, I always want to hold a space for that because I know how how tough it is and um, if you know anyone who is going through any kind of chronic pain I highly recommend checking out Eckhart Tolle's work I'm gonna post a link to his video about the pain body I have lots of challenges with the pain body but it, it forces you to to kind of reach a higher state of consciousness I'll also post this other link um, about chronic pain it these are really fascinating videos that are extremely helpful dealing with mind-body disorders and how basically our our um, we have these repressed emotions or feelings or things that we're not addressing and then they they manifest as pain in our body and it, the pain kind of distracts us from dealing with these internal issues but really it all comes down to doing this internal work which which yoga is helpful with which journaling is helpful with there's so many solutions to all these problems that's the main message of of me philosophical UPS messenger there are so many uplifting potential solutions to all these things there's so much pain in the world but there's so many ways to solve this pain and there's just so many beautiful things happening I just am so excited to be alive right now and I just I want to share these things with the world I would love your help I, I just r realized this thing called Prezi it's a really cool program Prezi.com you can basically create um, cool like 3d animation presentations and I would really love if any if you or anyone you know is interested to help me with this I'd like to turn the flowetry into some of these Prezi dynamics it's a really cool idea so basically I'm just bouncing around sharing thoughts and ideas because life is beautiful and you are beautiful and Ananda is beautiful thank you for this scarf the Sun is beautiful everything is beautiful pain is beautiful and uh, scoobily do thank you for watching share this video with friends if you'd like if you'd like to support me as a messenger I would greatly appreciate that um, scoobily do I just also uploaded or I just figured out how to make the flowetry downloadable free online so I'll post the link to that too peace my friend have a happy Saturday